Baba to everybody. Remember, a big show just switched. And this season, we are bonding Africans through cooking. I believe that by the time you were done with today's episode, you would thank me. That I will explain later. This program is proudly brought to you by Frito Vegetable Oil. You deserve a life of goodness. Frito Seasoning, Fortune Rise. Always on point, just like mom. La Bianca Company Limited, the number one frozen foods in Ghana and across board, even in Africa. And of course, when we talk about soap, it's Sunlight Dishwash Liquid Soap from Unilever Ghana Limited. Sunlight in just one wipe. You know, let's take a quick break. When we come back, I will let you know today we're talking about, mm -mm, I'll be back. A big show, bonding Africans through cooking. We'll be right back. It's good to try something new every day. It's good to stay strong together. It's good when you get the rest you need because your family has got you. It's good to share nutritious meals cooked with Frital, a vitamin A fortified oil. Whatever goodness means to you, Frital stands with you. Frital, you deserve a life of goodness. This advert is FDA approved. people you're welcome back to today's big show edition trust me you will really love what i have for you but you know before i come sit here looking all dazzly i have people that makes the glow happen a big shout out to le chateau boutique inside it's legon and of course hair by tammy's hair world also in it's legon me nails also in East Lagos, so call me the East Lagos girlfriend. <laughs> I bring you all the goodies and of course makeup by EJ Makeup. Try and also come to East Lagos. Thank you so much. So today I have Elikam Komoji, the tailor, with me. Okay, also in East Lagos. Hmm. <laughs> East Lagos Manche. <laughs> Hello. Hi darling, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm so blessed. Sharp. Welcome. Thank you. When have I ever seen you without a tape measure? Well, everywhere Elikem is, there is a tape measure. Yes. You know, I used to follow you, um, Big Brother. Right. I really love watching Big Brother. Oh, right. Nice. When you were there, all the commotions you caused, mm, we enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we enjoyed it. Uh, okay, let me come back here. So, who is Elikem Komoji, the tailor? Now, Africa is watching you. Right. You know that now when you come to a brain show, you're choosing a delicacy right. from an African country. Right. Okay. Before I get there. Well, so um, to answer your question, Elikem Kumoji, um, <clears throat> I'm a father. I like to put that first. That, that's the motivation to um, everything that I do. <laughs> I'm a father. I'm mm -hmm. trying to be a good one as such. Um, the best. Oh, wow. Um, then I'm a fashion designer, stroke actor. I put both in the same category. Mm -hmm. um, which which do you love most? Which would you I, say <laughs> it's elegant? It, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's a question that I'm asked all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, as much as I feel like wherever you find yourself, no matter what you're doing, you can learn the most of it and be the best at it. doesn't matter. I realized that I love both. And they were both birthed almost around the same time when I was in Legon. Mm -hmm. And so I, I love both simultaneously. When I'm doing acting, I'm all into it. I'm, I'm enjoying it. And when I'm in the fashion side, I'm all into it. So you can't, you can't really choose. No, I've tried. Because the love for it is all 100%. 100%. I've tried. I've Not tried. even 80, 20, no, or I've, 70, I've 30. No, I've tried. I've tried to choose. It doesn't work. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't even want to be in your shoes right now. Cause yeah, you know. You know, both are demanding. Mind they you. are extremely demanding. Um, but what I do is, acting is a job that cannot take anyone else to do, like the fashion. Mm -hmm. So with acting, I need to be physically present, yeah. mentally, psychologically, everything. But mm -hmm. with fashion, I'm able to set up a certain structure okay. that works even when I'm not around. So I do more supervision with, with fashion, but um, acting is wholly me. Of course you so, can supervise. Sir. Yeah, you, you have to do the acting yourself. So, yeah, so they're both yeah. demanding, but like I said, I, I love both. I've tried to differentiate and, and choose, it didn't but work. I can't. I can't. It didn't work. No. Th there's a time when there's a shift when I'm doing acting solely and not so concentrated on fashion. Mm -hmm. And there's also a time when there's no acting gig. No one is calling you for, for a movie to play a role. And so you're doing fashion. Those times you have 100% concentration on one side. But when they're both taking off or when, when they're both happening at the same time, I just try to divide my time simultaneously. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> so um, how was growing up like for you? Um, it was a contradiction of sorts. It, mm. it was the best of both worlds. Wow. Yes. And Fill me in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I always say the, the way I grew up and the events that happened to me is what has made me the human being I am today. What, what events happened to you? Um, so I, I was raised in a very well-to-do family. My, my dad was very oh. independent and, and quite wealthy. Oh, wow. Um, yes. Don't say quite. You know people that quite. read a, I mean, the real... It wasn't a billionaire. It wasn't like... No, Elon Musk, but I mean... You know? <laughs> <laughs> but he was, he was doing very well. Oh. Went to some of the best schools. What, what schools did you go to? Um, so I started from Cable Claire Academy. Okay, um, in Accra. In Accra. Okay. It, it's, a, it's a school that's American house now. It Eish. used to be a Jolu. And, you know, that's it's, a it's big a, it's deal. It's a very good school. It's I a very know. good school. Then from Claire. there? Then from there I went to Inglebet. But before that, my Inglebet older... Is a is it's a very it? good school as mm. well. Um, my, my older brother, um, Salon Salon, they started with Lincoln in, in Abilengpe. Hey. And then they went to Alcid. And then I went to KV Claire and then came to Inglebet. And then Aquinas. But standards... And then ended where? I went to Aquinas, Aquinas St. Thomas Saint Aquinas. Thomas. Okay. And then I went to um, the University of Ghana. What Ghana. year did you go to, did you complete Aquinas? 2007, I think. 2007. Yes. Okay. Uh, All right. I'm a small boy, see. Oh, see you. <laughs> <laughs> when did you finish? 1982. 1982. 82. When did you finish school? Me? Yeah. 2005. Yeah, you see, you're a big girl. Oh, see you. <laughs> <laughs> Two years my senior. But the um, point I was trying to make was um, we moved from being taken in school in like a Mercedes C-Class at the time, oh. then jumping behind the back of a trotro. Really? So when, when my father passed away, he was almost oh. the sole breadwinner. My mom, so my mom had to take over, but immediately she wasn't so Strong. financially capable. Oh. Um, so we are standing at Jolu Junction, ready to take a trotro to Alaji, Tabora. And at Jolu Junction, you see, when it's rush hour, five o'clock, everyone's trying to rush into the trotro. That's where the pickpockets steal your phones yes, and stuff. Yes. My little brother and I at the time were in GSS and we couldn't really struggle with the older guys. So I found a loophole in that system where as soon as the trot truck comes, we slide open the back window, we jump into it. What? So it's meant to be an empty trot truck, but by the time the passengers get in, my little brother and I are seated in the back seat waiting for other people to join. That's yes. how different oh the switch God. in my life was. And then I moved from, I could walk from um, St. Thomas Aquinas, which is cantonment, all the way to 37 and take one trotter home. And, and that's, how, that's how much, yes, I got to experience the best of, you know, the lavish life and then the best of the other side. Wait, wait so how did you take it? Because you were too young then. I didn't have a choice. I had to get to school. And for me... Wait, when it, your father passed? Yes, my father passed when I was about 12 years old. Oh. I was in GSS2 at the time. And you were still able to complete the school? I, I was, I was. I, I only skipped school for a day. The I'm next. About school fees and stuff. So my mother, my, my mother took over quite seamlessly, and we didn't have to feel so much of the, wow. the vacuum, the space. Wow. Um, she was a baker, and mm. she had all the machines and everything, um, and she would bake bread, put them at the back of her van at the time, oh. go out and sell. That's what you, you got your entrepreneurship. Yes, my mom is such a big entrepreneur. She never gives up. Hey, her business goes down. She stays in it, she brings it back up. And oh, she had to, because she had um, two other boys and my older sister to see through school. So you were four? There was, um, so my mother had 
seven kids. She lost two, were five. My older brother was almost out of it. My sister was in school. I was in school. Kobla was in school. Yes, there's hey. three more people. Wow. Um, and so she had to do her best, you know, to get us through school. I, I'll not forget, my older brother also did his best, um, Jifa. Mm -hmm. He also did a lot for us to go through school. Mm -hmm. And that's how we managed. My older brother, my older sister, my mother, um, and, and, and so on. And, and here we are today. I mean, you, 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 I've, never, I've never heard you say this anywhere, so I'm, I'm very inspired and I'm really touched. Right, right. Thank that you, you were able to pull through up until now. Yep, yep. That's consistency for you. Thanks. <laughs> so what pushed you into fashion? Another story of um, being broke. Whoa. I was, I, was in, <laughs> I was in the University of Ghana and mm -hmm. my mother only managed to get me into school. Okay. She paid my first year tuition, but... Second year, third year, fourth year was all me. And I managed to get how? second year. <laughs> how, how, you were paying your own school fees? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were not working? I was, I was a hustler. So I would sit in the trotro and go to Togo, get to the border, cross over. I have relatives in Togo. So I call my cousin, in the Kuva, so I'm sorry, yeah, Sigami. They take me to the big market. Hey, I what, buy what, shoes. What was that? What was, what Please come take me to the big market. Yeah. Is Zekuma? In the cuckoo. <laughs> Vasom. Vasom. Sorry. It's like Ewe. It's, it's Ewe. Like it's Ewe. Ewe. Okay. Togolese Ewe. Togolese. So I cross the border. My cousins meet me up. They take me into the big market. I buy shoes. I come back to Pentagon Hostel mm -hmm. and sell the shoes. Okay. And that's how I was making a living bit by bit. Wow. Um, yeah. So I paid tuition level 200, level 300. And now after level 300, the business of selling shoes and I was selling phone cases, you know, in the time of Blackberry. Yeah, yeah. I used to have the BB tools. and stuff. Yeah, hey. I used to have the tools to change the BlackBerry cases. Hey. Um, my, my girlfriend at the time traveled to the UK and I begged her to buy me phone cases and, and stuff. And I was a friend of mine, Rami. So I'll collect them. Then I'll change the cases for you. I used okay. to go from salon to salon to find women who like, you know, the whole oh my diamond word. studded cases. And that's how I saw myself through school. But after level 300, it was hard. Nothing was working anymore. Mm. So I took a year off. I was like... I can't pay the school fees. You deferred? Yeah, I did. For a year? One whole year. So that that's one That's where whole I found year. fashion. Okay. That's where I found fashion. So you so see, God turns things together works for Works in mysterious good. ways, doesn't he? <laughs> um, so for me, I, I go to Cantamanto. This is how I started. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm doing my shopping, you know, doing every the one Wednesday year. morning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Look, a little before that, I like to buy my own clothes and change something about, about it. it yeah. So I change the buttons. I put some African print on the sleeves and whatever. And people started seeing it and yeah, they it's liked nice, it. It's nice, I know. Do some for me, do some for me. <laughs> then I'll collect their monies. I, I'm the type of person who didn't like putting chobo on yeah, things for on people. Things, yeah. So that when you want me to do something for you, I collect the exact amount mm -hmm. and I do you a favor and I want you to appreciate it and that's all. Mm -hmm. And so at first I was just making the clothes for people and I thought to myself, I'm broke. I can't pay school fees. Why don't I just make a little profit off it? Because I'm, I'm always business minded. I'm, I'm thinking business. Mm -hmm. So then I put a little bit of profits on. And then it got to a point where people wanted specific colors. Oh, Ish. can you make this in blue, green? And I was thinking, Ish. you can't find specific things in Cantamanto. Of course. So why not make them? So I started buying fabric and taking them to the container tailors. I had like six or seven tailors around Jolo in their small kiosk and containers. So you I used go, to go there? To. And I go to every tailor to get each stuff designed. And I'll sit beside them because Ghanaian tailors would disappoint you. I'm telling you. So in my line of business, I don't disappoint people because I felt the disappointment and it really hurt. And I, didn't, I don't want my customers to feel the hurt. So th wow. that's the motto for my business. I, I don't disappoint people. Wow. So I'll sit beside the tailors and they're not able to finish for me quickly. And for some reason... I just picked up the skill of tailoring because I, I could just watch like them. That? I could watch them and figure it out. So when you're wasting my time, I thread your second machine and I'm sitting on and I'm finishing my own shirt. The finishing was not so good, but I managed, you managed. to finish in buttons and I saved up money, bought one machine, put it at the porch of my father's house. Oh. And I, was, I managed to get the money back to go back to level 400. Oh, you need and, a standing so ovation for this. Oh, my word. <laughs> Thank you. You are the real hustle. Thank you. You've really done well. Yeah, I have. I have. Hey. I'll admit I have. I want to ask Morbid, you know, we have to go to the kitchen. Yeah, my stories are long. <laughs> I would want to listen. We're not done. You know, we'll go to the kitchen, we'll come back to right. eat and all that. So we right. have a lot to say. Right. And a lot for people to hear too. Because right. a lot of people can be inspired by your story. Of course. Mind you, a lot of the youth today are lazy. I won't lie. They are. They yeah. don't want to work. I work but with they a lot to, of them. They are. They want, they want to use all the good things in life, but they don't want to work for it. True. Do you think now if a youth of today 
would want to go to Kantamatu from, from container to container to sew dress, just come and sell and go and pay school fees. No, no, no. Mm. So learn that from Melikem. So if you see him all pushy like this, it's just by grace and hard work. Yep. Consistency. A lot of hard work. And dedication. A lot of hard work. Thank you for coming today. We are not done. Thank you for having me. Because I'm already inspired. <laughs> <laughs> what food are you... No, first, which country? Which delicacy are you doing for us? I will wipe my face before we go. You better wipe because... <laughs> Which country's food are we going to cook today? Okay, so um, today we're doing something from Zimbabwe. Hey! I, I, I have half Be of my heart. Me. Do you understand what that means? I, I have half of oh. my heart in Zimbabwe. Oh my god! So that's that's like my my second place. Of, of comfort. Like, you know, you know, I'm stammering. Like, why do you have half? So my I have a son in Zimbabwe, Tristan. It's just, just a son. That's, that's half of my heart. Is just, it just, a just son? my son. Just my son. The country is love, lovely. The people are lovely. Alicia, Recently, I met. There's some. Baby mama is there too. Oh, my ex wife, of course. She, she's an amazing woman, no doubt. Um, and we, we, we put that in a nice little glass shelf and, and lock it up. She's amazing. Put, we I, give her her, her accolades. But the reason why I'm, I'm attached to Zimbabwe a lot is mostly because of my son and the experiences I have from handsome. Zimbabwe. He's so handsome. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a cool kid. I know, too, <laughs> yeah. from daddy and mommy. I'm sad you guys broke up anyways. Can I cry for that? Maybe just for a few seconds. For a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what they say, though, the... um, about marriage. You guys were too beautiful together. Yeah, it's, it's a good thing to marry. Oh, they they say God. by all means marry. I've been married before, too. And if you I'm marry divorced. a good spouse, mm -hmm. it's a good thing. It, it opens good doors. But, yeah. but if the marriage doesn't go well, you become a philosopher. So you win both ways. Being a philosopher is also good. I'm, I'm sure now you have certain I'm principles you live I'm by. I'm more than a counselor. See? That, I, I, you know so what I tell. Everything that happens, happens for good. It's not easy, but yeah. I mean. Yeah. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. 100%. <laughs> and it came. So what was the name of the meal? It's sadza. I'm cooking sadza today. Sadza. It's a type of um, banku or akple, like toza for I'm sure Pukela taught you. No, I'm no. sure she taught you. No, no, she didn't. But where did you learn it from anyway? Um, what else? I, I liked the meal. She cooked it for me a lot. She's uh -huh. a very good cook, by the way. So that is but what she didn't I'm... actually teach no, me. No, 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 please. Uh -huh. but, okay, I'm that's where saying... I liked it from. No, so, uh -huh. right. <laughs> I'm not surprised he, she didn't teach you. Like, right. the way you got to know how to sew without yeah, yeah, being yeah, taught. Yeah. So you, you yeah. stole it from yeah, her, you yeah. know? Yeah, that's You true. get it. That's you don't get it for I watch and I learn. True. <laughs> true. Sadza. Sadza. A type of banku. Yeah, it's a type of banku. In Ghana... It's made it's made from... from flour they call maize meal oh okay. it's like powdered when what sadza when sadza is so that... usually they eat sadza with their vegetables or their chicken or any type of protein hey, no, not even talk too much because when we go to the kitchen soup. you show us the real <laughs> i'm tweaking it up a little bit i'm, I'm doing sadza but just, our, our sauce is a bit ganyan because you know we mm. like pepper because in zimbabwe i always found myself chopping chilies and pepper and adding it to the no they don't eat pepper at all so today, Elikem is going to tweak Saksa for us. Right. Add a bit of Ghana. So, you know, Ghana featuring Zimbabwe. Or Zimbabwe featuring Ghana. Zimbabwe featuring Sadza Ghana. Sadza is first. Yeah, They're Sadza just accommodating I Ghana with Pepe. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Elikem is taking us all the way to Zimbabwe, where half of his heart is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -mm, I don't want to say much. <laughs> so we, we take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll go straight to the kitchen. Now, Elika, when I say a bean show, you say bonding Africans through cooking. A bean show! Bonding Africans through cooking. Thank you so much. You're we'll welcome. be right how oily I am. It will take forever to clean this. Take it easy, Pan. Your days of endless scrubbing are over. My dad just bought sunlight dishwash liquid. What do you know about a Pan's life? This advanced formulation has real lemon juice that will cut through all those stains fast in just one wipe. Wow, that was fast. See how easy it is to remove oil in one wipe? New sunlight dishwash liquid removes oil stains in just one wipe. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Then you 
say? Bonding, Bonding Africans, Africans through, through cooking. cooking. Okay. People, you're all welcome back to today's edition of A Bay Show. Now, Elikem is here. He's taking us all the way to Zimbabwe. As mm. I will always say, not physically, but through the cooking of this delicacy. Foodically, not physically. Mm. And Foodicali. after that, we'll get foodgasm. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, um. <laughs> that's, that's how I do. I know, right? I, I so give the dozens. <laughs> you, you're, you're going to give us sad, sadza? Sadza, yes. Sadza. So let us know the ingredients. So sadza is made from maize meal. Zimbabweans like to call it mealy meal. Okay, so that's the maize that's meal. That's the maize meal, mealy okay. meal. Um, they always have a side of vegetables. And unfortunately, because we couldn't get their specific vegetables in Ghana, it's, mm -hmm. it's grown there. Okay. Um, we're using cabbage, which also still works. It's any form of vegetable. Which, which other ones is grown there? Um, they, they have a special kind of green vegetable. I, I okay. forgot the local name, what okay. they called it there. I see. And I don't know the English name either. But I it's see. greens, it's like Spanish, almost like contumery. Contumery, okay. And they make it a certain special way. So no Zimbabweans problem. actually always have a balanced diet. Oh, wow. They must have their carbohydrates, um, carbohydrates their vitamins and minerals, whatever, and, and their protein. And then their protein, okay. Um, so this is a form of vegetables we're going to be doing. Um, so I'm going cabbage? to be doing a saute. Um, oh, wow cabbage with onions and a bit of garlic and, and stuff in there. So mention them. So we have um, the cabbage, mm -hmm. we have tomatoes, we have onions, we have bell peppers. Okay. These Different. have a very high source of vitamin C, especially the red ones. I wow. love them so much. Wow. And then these, um, the chicken in Zimbabwe, you know the Ifiakuko? Yes. They call them the road runners. Oh, really? In Zimbabwe. <laughs> There's like the local chicken, uh, the ones that run around the compound. Oh, okay. They call road them road runners. runners. Okay. So that's the local chicken. Uh, we have some... Um, Pakushito, pepper. pepper, some chilies, and we have some garlic, as gingers. Um, we have some chili paste, still okay. salt, um, and carrots. Carrots, of course. And tomatoes. Tomatoes. But, so um, I mentioned tomatoes already. Okay, so fritol. Yep, fritol. So let me tell you, we have sunflower okay. oil, and we have the vegetable oil. What it does is when when all is cholesterol free and okay. all is enriched with vitamin A. Okay. But the thing is, the sunflower oil can be used for shallow frying. Oh, okay. So as you said, you're going to do saute. Yes, you can we use the sunflower oil. Yes, and yes. then uh, the vegetable oil can be used for deep frying, for making right. your stew. This also can be used we, for we'll, stew. We will fry the chicken just a little bit. So we can and use the make a sunflower. sauce around it. Yes, you can use it to dress your salad and everything. But right. this is for, you can do rice meals and all that, deep frying and stew. Right. So, you know, two variants. Right. 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 For your, you know, you can choose at your yeah, own yeah. discretion. When, when we get there, we'll, yes. we'll cross And the then bridge. we have uh, the seasoning. We have the three in one mix. There's shrimp and there's chicken. So anyone is at your disposal. It's my first time seeing it. This is lovely. You would From use Frito. and you would thank yeah. me. I like to taste it, yeah. Yo, nice. so now wash your hands. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, Always. wash your hands. And then we begin the food. So what would you need first? Um, so usually the sadza, um, when it's kept down for too long to cool, it becomes very hard. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for us to start with our sauce. Okay. Um, then the the sorted vegetables will be last. Okay. Then we do the sadza in between. The washing your hand. Did you use my sunlight? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I, did. I didn't see you. <laughs> Please come here. I did. Okay. So you you say you want to start with which one? We will start with the sauce, which is the chicken. So we we'll quickly fry the chicken. Okay. Um, you couldn't. You didn't tell the people it. that you've already seasoned the chicken. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, chicken with is seasoned fried already. Chicken it's seasoning. Seasoned already. I'm okay. um, ready to go. Okay. Um, so, so can I, can I get... Uh, Don't worry, I'm here for you. Your pants. Yes, please. And is then okay? chop board. Chopping board, okay? I mean. Yes, this is fine. We, so, can we get the chopping board? Sure. Some knife. So you say you need a chopping board. Yes, chopping boards, um, knives. Okay. Um, and so on and so forth. Hey, We're going to slice, And slice. so on and so forth. So I, I, I actually love my sauces uh, a bit crunchy, so you'll see all my vegetables are big. And okay. I love onions, so we'll have a lot of onions also in the sauce. Okay. Um, and then can we kindly get um, the fire on, a little bit of oil poured sure. in. Sure. Ready to go. I'll chop, I'll chop the you items. Is this okay? Yes, it's fine. Right. Chop you the said vegetables I should put on the fire? Quick. Yes, please. Okay. And a bit of oil for okay. our shallow frying. Oh, if it's frying, then let me bring the frying pan. Or yeah, I yeah. thought you were going to... Oh, yeah, please bring the frying pan. Okay. We'll just fry quickly while we um, 
we start the sauce. Okay. So because it's shallow, we are using the sunflower. Yes, ma'am. Sunflower oil. Remember, it's for shallow frying. You can use it to toss your vegetables as well as dress your salads. You can also even decide to cook with stew and all that. So please check. It's your food. So let me know if it's okay. Um, yes. Keep Whoa. going, keep going. Keep I should going. keep going? Yes, ma'am. I just want to get so I should keep the going. chicken. Yes, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I just want the chicken to, you know, fry just a little bit to give us that crunchy finish. I can see you love crunchy stuff. I love crunchy. I like That's why I like you cheese. went to Zimbabwe. Are Zimbabwe is crunchy, crunchy? Please, I didn't say that. I'm just licking. <laughs> With my tomatoes, I like okay. to take out the seeds. Uh, oh, okay. I should Do you help. mind if I do this to your sink? Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind. I clean up after. I don't mind. When did you start acting? Like... Um, when I was in the university as well. Well, I did showcasing away. Hey! Oh, years, Days old, of our lives. <laughs> I did showcasing away. I had to go and speak airway. Showcase. My name was Agbe. Where? My name was Agbe. In airway, the showcase. Showcase in airway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, Ooh, it was nice. It was lovely. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed you know, it. people that are watching me that don't know what Elikem is talking about. When you come to Ghana, those days. Showcase in Ewa was one of the beautiful theatrical works yeah, that we had in Ghana. Yeah, it was in the studio. And Ewa is one of our uh, languages yes, in Ghana, yes, like yes, part yes, of our dialects, yes. yeah. So, if our oil is hot now, we can... Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, you're going to say you something? Want to know, when you finish, I'll come on the door. Yes. Just say what you're going to say there. I was going to say, if our oil is hot now, we can toss the chicken in while I get the stuff for the sauce ready. Okay, so on and that And we're note, just frying it lightly, just to lightly. have a little bit of a golden, golden brown. finish. So whilst you are on it, I want to. We are in Zimbabwe now. I mean, <laughs> virtually. Yes. We are in Zimbabwe now, but physically, let me go back to Ghana. Okay. And I'll just come back to Zimbabwe. Okay. I'm picking a flight, so I'll be back. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's a six-hour flight from Ghana to Zimbabwe. No, 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 no. I can just do five minutes. Me, I do magic. You'll, you'll be right back. Magic. I'll be right back. You know. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you for your buyer, your gym. Na mi ni abema elikem kumaji the tailor. And there were the young Aqua Drew, a year Zimbabwe, Diana Woye, was here friend Sadza, Sadza. I quite to say Zimbabwe for bank and vegetables, Kakwa, and a Woye, Edia Mayeti, Osha, Bemim, which you tell your man said the war power again. I said, 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 I forget about forget so we see how the pam. And I like him, my boy. But why? No, no. Okay, what's it for you? Kakra. What's it kakra? Kakra. And you order. Yes, I'm brought back to Zimbabwe. Me, I beni. Alo, me a do fogba. Hey, F1. Do fogba. F1. Maroko, F1. Eze gomia. Eh, masa gomia. Hey, hey. Okay, so I'm back. So yes, let's let's. I just got back to Zimbabwe. Chicken in. Okay. All right. Hey. Well, you, you're testing the, like it's, it's already seasoned and all that. Yeah, so this chicken is seasoned already. Yes. Do you um, mind if I put uh, a tissue to soak in the oil? Yeah, of course. 100%. Okay. Here we go. Tons fine now. We're Still going much. to start with our, you can put it here. our onions. Okay. Yeah, just a oh, little bit fine. brown on the other side. Once oh, it gets okay. a bit brown on the other side. So let me just... And we don't necessarily need to sieve it so much because we're putting it right back in, in the sauce. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, so, so I should take the sieve back? Uh, You're not well, gonna no, we it. can drop it here in the meantime because it will go in almost last. Oh, okay, okay, then yes. that's fine. That's fine. Wow. Do, do, do you really, really normally cook in the house? Not always. <laughs> but you once have in a to while. Say... When, I have, when I want to be a loving, you know, boyfriend, husband, mm, whatever, mm -mm. yeah, I cook. Talking about boyfriend, are you dating? Am I dating? I am. No, no. You see, when you ask, I'm not question. dating. My, my 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 relationship is very complicated right now. Oh, really? Um, I'm not married, but um, I'm living with the mother of my newborn son. Um, and so, oh, wow. I don't know what to term it. We're, we're not married yet, but but. And I don't know if I'm going to get married soon. You know, it's 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 very complicated. Like I'm saying. But you guys will get married. Well, we're taking our time. You know, I've been in a marriage before. I'm divorced. I'm not rushing but anywhere. But you guys are in a relationship. We, yes, 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 of course. Oh, we're, you are we're in toge a situation. We're together with a child living in the same, I don't know, what, what do you want to call that? Situationship. It's, 
situation. If, if you say so. If yeah, you say so. so because you've not really defined uh, whatever. Anyways, congrats. Another boy. Another boy, hey? I'm gunning for a girl. Father of boys. Good. Hmm. But I, I said to my son's mother that if she doesn't give me a girl next, I'm taking her youngest sister to be my daughter. That's her name is Lucky. Lucky's sitting over there. Oh, okay. So, with that beautiful tutu dress. Yeah, yeah with that, okay. that beautiful flared tutu dress. Oh, okay. oh, oh, so, oh, oh, um, oh, what's lucky. next is we're going to drop. Hey, so, you're, like you're. This is, that's how I cook. Care. I take the whole chopping board. Oh, my word. And I line in the onions, I line in the tomatoes. and. The so, milk. should I allow? Okay, okay, okay. No, we shouldn't. No, allow. no, you can, you can, you can. It's yeah? my kitchen. We are in Zimbabwe. Don't worry. Let's go. <laughs> I'll test. Don't worry. It's not so hot. Okay, yet. so let me just swap the fire for yeah, you. Do you want to do it in this one? In this pan? Um, oh, so you still because want to it's too this. spread, okay, yeah. I might not have don't the, worry, uh, don't worry. So don't the covering worry. I'm looking for. I'll change for. it for you, don't worry. Just maybe we just give it like more heat. Yeah, I'm coming. I'll do that for you. Really, really soon. Just swap the. Yes. There you go. So Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, this is very. It is fast. your kitchen now, isn't it? Yes, it is my kitchen. Okay, here we go. It's not so hot, but... It will be very hot soon. Yes, it's fine. So that the onions don't burn. Okay. And turn to brown. Hey, is that I how love, Zimbabwe I love is onions. Good? No, like I said, this is a twist. So the main thing is the sadza for Zimbabweans and the roadrunner. But this sauce is mainly Ghanaian. And they can, they can have it with different kinds of sauces. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Welcome. I just want the onions to cook just a little bit ahead of everything else. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I, I like my... My sauces and, and stews very crunchy mm -hmm. and almost uh, original. So I don't let it cook too much because I still like to see the vegetables looking fresh and, mm. and tasting fresh. Oh, okay. And of course, when you overcook a meal, you... You, you lose all the nutrients. Thank you very much. Yeah. So that's oh, wow. where we go. I, I love the way um, you've chopped your pepper, your garlic. Yes, your I like ginger. every... Like but I said... This is what I want to know. I like is it that crunchy. a twist you've added to it? Um, this is how I in make Zimbabwe, my stews. In Zimbabwe, do they cut? No, no. but in Zimbabwe, no, do no, they cut? No, in Zimbabwe, they usually do like a sauce that looks like soup oh, okay. that they eat the salsa with. But I'm doing almost like a, something a like stew. a pepper sauce. Okay. So you're adding your own rendition to the salsa meal. Exactly. Okay. So the, like the main that. meal, the main Zimbabwe meal is the salsa. And I'm going to show you how to cook it soon. Okay. It's very easy. I can't wait. We are bonding <laughs> Africans. Indeed. Through cooking. I put the tomatoes next. Today I'll get to know how to uh, cook sadza. Hey, by the time I'm, I'm being sure, oh my god, you don't have to mess because <laughs> you are in Ghana, you are in Zimbabwe, you're in Nigeria, you are in South Africa, but you'll be, you know, you'll be eating other food from other countries right. your, or from your own continent. And I, I love mean, this kind of cooking. My, my mother used to all. do. Mm. Uh, a stew for us. She called it onion stew, and there's so much onions in it. And wow. since my memory of that stew, I always make my stews she? with onions. She's there at Jolu, oh, very wow. healthy, and you know, I running can see around. I you love your mom. Boys and their oh, mom. Oh yeah, my no. So you Boys see, and their mom. my mother did so much for us after my dad passed. Eh? She well, was she's putting the ginger and, and garlic. The garlic. Okay, so ginger go on. and garlic. Let me help you. And then I'll just put the peppers also right okay. now. Everything goes in. So that nothing cooks too much. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. Now mm -hmm. I get more, this, a little more pepper. Hey, you love pepper? Just a little Should bit. Should I give you a tablespoon, pepper. or you just pour it? Um, I'm not gonna pour all of it, so maybe a spoon will do. Thank okay. you very much. Oops. You didn't consider the tall guy when you were building your kitchen, eh? <laughs> My head just bumped. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. It's okay. I have the tablespoon here with me. Uh, hey. Today be just, today. Just a little more, you know. Oh, you just, know when you're done, it's not nice. I would, I would oh, tell nicely me. say. Tell me. Tell I me. I would nicely tell everybody. You know, you know what they on say. This continent. You know what they say that mm -hmm. uh, when a man is hungry, anything goes down. And like I said, I I found my cooking a lot when I was in fashion school in South Africa. When I was broke. Can I? Yes, please. You can put them on. But we'll use the onions again for the sorted um, oh, cabbage. Oh, love. So should I start cutting I the onions. cabbage for yes, you? Uh, yes, please. You can slice the cabbage. Ah, it's like we're slices. done with the meal, though. It's like we're done with the Almost meal. Almost done. The salsa is also... And we can actually start mixing the salsa. Can I get another bowl? I'll show you how we do this. 
so that oh, we don't sure. waste too much time. Oh, sure. Okay. So is this okay? Yes, perfect. Okay. You so say you're going to show me how to, mind you, our, our Zimbabwean sauce is all on fire. <laughs> our tweaked Zimbabwean sauce. Our what? Tweaked. Tweaked. Okay. You tweak it up a little bit. All right. Okay. So now we have our vegetables ready. Mm -hmm. We can... Are you going to cut some carrots? A little bit of salt. Um, the carrots will no, go into the... are you going to the... use any mixed spices? Because we already have salt We will use... Them. For oh, season. so we can I, use salt I would advise, also. No, I would advise you use that first. If you taste and the salt is okay, then you don't add more. So which one do you want? Okay. You want um, the shrimp or the mixed spice or the chicken? I think we're doing the chicken. Let's do chicken because we're yes, doing chicken. Yes, 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 yes. So this is fried salt chicken seasoning. You just use and give me the feedback. How potent is it? Can I use all of it or should we yeah, use half to try? Yeah, you can use all of it. You can use all of it. Yeah? I trust them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All righty. And what else? Okay. Um, we can slice a bit of the um, carrots. Okay. Let me come And over. then I'll put my chicken in it soon. Okay, I want to throw something away, so. Oh, sorry. Don't worry. And then onions also. You love onions. You see, I you love, love onions. onions. You see, you're not using the pepper again, so let me just No, ma'am. Okay. Now then you show me how to do the sadza. The sadza. Our sadza. It's like we are almost done. These carrots are big. Yes, it's almost. Big, eh? We're not going to use the bell pepper anymore. Um, I, was gonna, I was going to put a bit of the bell pepper into the salted ca um, cabbage, but no, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, the carrot is enough. Sometimes when it's too much. The carrot is okay? Yes, just one carrot is also fine. I think we're getting, and we're already done with the ginger and the onion. Yes, ma'am. We will use a little bit of ginger and um, garlic for the sorted um, thing as well. You know, garlic contains lots of antioxidants. That's good for the body, health, prevents cancer, it's good for your heart. The heart, yeah. Um, and, and ginger also. Very I good. Cut the Lots of antioxidants. You. Yes, ma'am. In, in big in slim, slightly slimmer than this. Okay. I almost made it big because <laughs> I know you love onions a lot. Okay. So now what are we left with? I will just toss my chicken in so that it can cook a little bit with. Whoa. I'm That's done it. here. Done. Thank you very much. Mm, you're welcome. Whoa. And then we'll lower the fire and let it simmer while okay. we start hitting our sadza. Okay. And then, like I said, the sadza has to be served hot so that um, <clears throat> when, because when it's left to cool, it, it gets hard. Okay. Um, so sadza should be around the last thing you cook. Um, but we'll do it simultaneously. Yeah, so just yes. show us. Thank you very how it's much. Done. We're going to make a sadza paste. Mm -hmm. So we put in our maize meal flour, mm -hmm. um, just enough. Mm -hmm. And then we put a little bit of water to get the paste. Okay. Once it becomes pasty, this is all to prevent lumps. Because once the water is very hot already, it starts lumping up. Oh, okay. Um, so once it becomes paste... And you told me to put hot water. We put hot water, water then. and then we leave it on... We stir it till it becomes like cocoa. Cocoa? Cocoa. <laughs> Which is porridge. Porridge. Yes. And um, how do you say uh, porridge in your native language? Jogbo. 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 Yes. Median, mine is cocoa. <laughs> cocoa. 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 <laughs> hey, Fantina. In your me a fancy. At a fanta. Met a fancy. And I had to cook. Met a fancy. So once this is on in form of a paste. This actually give you garlic. Yes, garlic and ginger. Okay. We Cut pour, into pieces. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Our hot water. Okay. What are you going to use the garlic and ginger for? And then we stir until it becomes porridge. I'm sorry? What are you going to use the garlic and ginger for? Just a little bit for our sauteed vegetables. Just, oh, okay. Just to give it again our our health connotations. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm very 
So I'm, I'm not very good with exercising and going to the gym. I'm unable to keep up with the discipline. So I watch what I eat so okay. that I don't, you know what they say, you are what you eat. Mm -hmm. So it's important to always keep your diet healthy, fresh, you know, mm -hmm. and, and a bit minimalistic. So okay. you keep staring, check our sauce. I think our sauce could be done by now. Okay. Please help me with the tasting. See if we need to Ooh. add anything. It's my food, but Charlie, you are the judge. Uh -uh. I'm asking for help. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> How do you greet in Zimbabwe? Like if you want so, to greet, good morning. in the morning, you say Manguanani. 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 Ah, if the, you are in, in Zimbabwe, you don't know how to rap, you are slagging because <laughs> the way your language is Manguanani. Hey, so, Manguanani. So, I, w I wake up in the morning Manguanani. and I, That's and good I morning. see my mom or my husband say, Babe, Manguanani. Yes. In Ghana, then it's he like says, you're hungry. Then he says back, uh -huh. um, Mamukase. Mamukase. Mamukase means how are you? Yes. And I'm fine and I'm fine too. Then you say Damuka. Then you ask back, Mamukase. It's like, I'm fine, how are you too? Manguana ni? Mamukase. Mamukaswa. <laughs> <laughs> then you say Damuka. <laughs> Please don't make me small. So, <laughs> okay. So, just a little uh, bit more, more water to get our porridge. And then once our porridge starts boiling, um, to, wow. to, 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 we leave it on the fire for like oh 10 Oh my God, I'm on another planet with the... Oh cook. my God. Oh Tastes God. good? Oh, damn. Are you being honest or... Damn, it's, you don't know me if it's not nice. You said you'll be nice. honest. Oh so this is God. honesty right there. Mamuka sale. <laughs> <laughs> damuka, damuka, damuka. It's so, it's so tasty. I love it. So once we get the porridge feel... So it's done, eh? So I should take it off fire Yes, now. please. Remember, we don't want to cook too much. Okay. okay. So can I... Can you take the stew, Bungie, here? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So you confirm our stew is good? Okay. Our sauce. Mm -hmm. um, so and then we, we get this into smaller pieces so that it makes chewing and eating it easier. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to put on the fire So you want it a bit higher? Um, for our sorted vegetables, yes. yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Done. Done. Okay. Oh, wow. So again, wow. we toss in our onions first, okay. um, and then we throw in the rest. Is it hot? Is it good? No. Um, not really. It doesn't have to be too hot. Too also, hot. I don't want it to be. Not too hot, but yeah. it would, you know. But it's it has emerging. to be hot enough, yeah. Yes. And please. that's a little too much oil. Can we? Shed okay. some away, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. You okay now? Yes, ma'am. So we're gonna throw in our onions first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Quickly. Now. Let me help you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Oh. You behave like a chef. Meanwhile, the last time you went to the kitchen was 1995. No, 96. <laughs> you missed one year. I missed one year. That's a ah. okay. Mm. Um, I quickly want to run with my pub, so I'll just, I'll just um, tell you what to do here and you help me. Okay. 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 This, this is fine. Um, can mm -hmm. we lower the fire here? Okay, sure. To like a four, maybe? Okay. Four? Yes. So that we don't burn our onions. Okay. Although we're looking for like a golden brown color okay. for the, Done. the cabbage. Yes. So, so now we can, we can throw the cabbage in. Okay. But, but first of all, put the ginger and the garlic. Please. Okay. And then for our sadza. Let me help you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So ginger, done. And for our sadza. It's like our food is done. Almost. I'm going to be putting. Do you want to add anything? Powder. Any I'm sorry? seasoning on the saute or no seasoning? Um, just a little bit of salt. Uh, no seasoning. You don't want to add any seasoning? No, Because there's already seasoning in there. Yes, just okay. a little bit of salt. Salt right now or after the cabbage is gone? After the cabbage, after everything is gone. Okay. That's fine. So I'm learning from Elikem. So Elikem, mm -hmm. yes, when you go to Zimbabwe, this is how they put their veggies in their pan. Me, yes. this is how they do it. Should I add the carrot already? Um, yes, yes, everything can go now. Okay. Anything you say or do? 
in be used against you in the court of law. If it's not true, mm, the whole of Africa is watching us. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think we need a little okay. bit of water. Water, okay. So that's our saute veggies. And we used our sunflower vegeta no, sunflower oil. Bright old sunflower oil. For so the more you put flour or the oil in it, the, the cornmeal, I mean the maize meal, mm -hmm. the harder it gets or the softer it gets. Now it depends on the texture you want. Mm -hmm. Some people like um, it soft, people like it hard. So my people, how do you say we'll be back in Zimbabwe? <clears throat> my Shona, you know because I left early, mm -hmm. the Shona is not too good. So, so just say... So I want to say, I want to, um, I want to say something, you know. I want to do some skirmishes. Say, say maitabasa. Maitabasa means thank you. And you, you say in English, you'll be right back. You speak English very well. Thank Zimbabwe you. is the number one most educated country in Africa. Oh, wow. So speak English. Don't worry, they get it. Maita Sababa. No, maitabasa. Maitabasa. Uh -huh. Maitabasa. We'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back. And when we are back... Our food will be set ready for eating and tasting. We'll see how Elikem was able to represent Zimbabwe. His half heart mm -hmm. is there. So if he misinterprets I, 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 the I, food, I, we will come for the hats. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll be back. Maita Bata. <laughs> Maita we'll be right back. Maita, Maita Bata. Yes. Salagatsa. We'll be back. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> It's good to try something new every day. It's good to stay strong together. It's good when you get the rest you need because your family has got you. It's good to share nutritious meals cooked with Frital, a vitamin A fortified oil. Whatever goodness means to you, Frital stands with you. Frital, you deserve a life of goodness. This advert is FDA approved. A big show. Then you say bonding Africans. Through, through cooking. cooking thank you yeah you're all welcome back aquaba to you all and now our table is set you can see how beautiful the food looks like the garnishing alone <laughs> will take you to the land of zimbabwe in fact you are in zimbabwe <laughs> elikam is my guest today and he decided to take us to zimbabwe mm. and cook this amazing meal called satza satza mm. and but i can see uh we have saute veggies yes which we all prepared in the kitchen mm. and then what are we having for dessert is um, mm -hmm. so contrary to the beliefs of people okay fruit is actually meant to be eaten before food mm -hmm. because the fiber in the fruit helps aids digestion it because of um because of the high content of the fiber in the fruit it helps break down the blood sugars in food, the glycemic index, which controls, it's good for diabetes people. So you don't eat fruit after food. You eat it before food to help break down the glycemic index. Mm -hmm. I hope you understand. I get now, it. instead of fruit as dessert, mm -hmm. we rather use green tea as a digestive. Wow. A digestive is a certain kind of drink. It's usually alcohol, certain alcoholic beverages that help digest food better. So for our dessert, I, some people do cake or sweet after meals. I like to do oh, like ice strong green. Yes, I like to do strong green tea. Again, I check what I eat because they say you are what you eat. Of course. So I don't want to add sugars on top of carbohydrates, yes, on top of proteins. everything. So fruit before food to help break down the digestion, help aid in digestion. So right now, and this is the main meal. Is the main meal. After, after we, eat fruit, we eat the fruit 
as a starter before the main meal. And oh. then we drink the green tea as a digestive. Oh my word. So we are in Zimbabwe now. <laughs> this, this is, this is not this so is, much this a Zimbabwean so thing. Much, this, is, okay. this is a health thing um, a health for, for thing. me, especially. This is what you do. Very soon, I need to get myself a Zimbabwe boyfriend. Ah. So I can be cooking sadza for him. <laughs> because I am learning so well. <laughs> yeah, you are. So for now, we have to start. We start with the fruit. The fruit. Um, and you can pray. Oh, my word. Are God you a Christian? bless the farmer. The, the cooker, cooker and, and the, the eater. eater. Amen. Amen. When I was in school, some get get, no want. Some want want, no, no get. get. We get get, we no. want. Oh. oh, thank you, my lord. Amen. That's all. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> all the way from Ghana National. That was one of our, you know, prayers at the mm. dining hall. The pineapples are nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, fancy four pineapple now. Uh... No, fancy four one pineapple. It's a two of bacano. <laughs> You know, so this is a different feel. You 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 take your food for starters. That's the elikem kumoji way. That's the best way. Thank you. The the fibers and roughage help mm -hmm. with digestion. And now we come to oh, we're gonna use our hands. Like in Zimbabwe, do they use their hands? Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Nigerians. <laughs> I mean, all the African countries watching me. If you know how to use your hands. Or eat, you know, S P O O N. Spoon. S P O O N. <laughs> right. Never thought of it like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me um, first of all, serve. This is serve yourself. Where? Please go ahead. Where? I like, I, I and you are meant to give me your very honest opinion. You know, forget me. about the fact that we're on TV. No, no, me. Oh, me. Ah, you've not heard from me. If it's not nice, I'll say it's not. You say it. No, no, no. I'll forget. <laughs> I'll forget that you're my friend. Forget it. Yeah, I'll forget. forget it. If you don't get you, forget about yeah, it. Yeah, forget about it. <laughs> so, are you going to save yourself as you said? Um, once you've yeah, just put for me, please. Like now, I want you people to be serving yourself, so that nobody will say that. Hey. There you oh, go. Thank you very much. Thank you too, darling. Hmm, the food I've not even tasted. Mhm. Mm okay. So send me the the sorting. I'll save you here. Um, Let me see. Let me try. Elikam is telling me that this meal hmm, he specially made for me that I have to taste and tell all you people how it it went. How it really goes. Let me see. For real, for real. Okay. Okay. There you go. Mm -mm. So that's my sadza about to go down. We waited a bit, so the sadza got a bit, mm -hmm. you know, hard. Sadza has to be eaten immediately. Mm. You like it? I love it. <clears throat> and Zimbabweans don't put salt in the sadza. Mm. Well, from what I know. When we added a taste of Ghana. <clears throat> the butter and the salt. Yeah. They don't put butter too. Some people. Okay. But not always. Mm. And there's a lot of pepper in this. So don't don't cook this for a Zimbabwean because there's too much pepper. They don't eat chili. Oh, when like I get that. a boyfriend in Zimbabwe. He must baby, eat chili. You eat chili. Baby, you gotta eat chili. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I love oh, it. Oh, it's, it's actually nice. I'm telling you. Mm. It's really nice. Thank what you. Is... Hey my god. If you just tuned in, this is our being show. We're bonding Africans through cooking. And today, Elikem Kumoji the Taylor. Tailored! A sadza <laughs> in his his own rendition is a Zimbabwean meal. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, taste the mm -mm. vegetables. It's too nice. Mm. Balanced diet. Mm. Let me just. It's okay. Before we end the show, do I have to? Is there sugar in there? Mm -mm. There's no sugar. Okay, again, come and kill me on my show. Again, mm -hmm. because of the health connotations. Okay. I don't put sugar in my green tea. No dates. No. I take it natural. No. No dates. No, no honey. No sweet. No. Mm -hmm. So you see, okay. some people in my family suffer from diabetes. So oh. I'm trying to prevent myself always from getting okay. it. So healthy meals. And you know, it's hereditary also. Mhm. Mm so Alikem, thank mm. you so much for gracing. Mm, you're welcome. Our kitchen with this sumptuous meal. I have, I am still enjoying. I'm not done, <laughs> but I want to wrap up. Then I'll go back to the meal. But before we wrap up, Elikem, I have 
a gift for you. Mm. All these beautiful gifts you see here are yours. No, thank you. The way you whispered in my ear that mama says she needs some sadza when you're coming home. Mm -hmm. Go give these people things to mama. Especially, All of it. yes. Let oh, me tell you. Let me give her some. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> let me take Especially some the more. fortune from Wilma Africa. Mm. They have fortune rice. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we used the sunflower. Mm -hmm. Frito sunflower oil. Yes, you love the sunflower oil. Thank you. And there's frito vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. There's frito seasoning. Mm -hmm. There's uh, the fortune rice as well. So all these are for mommy. Fortune rice, um, then you say, always on point, just like a mom. Frito cooking oil. You deserve a life of goodness. Do you get it? And you then there's, yes, frito seasoning as well. It's, I mean, the, the, the way, the, the reason why they are saying you deserve a life of goodness is every woman deserves to live a good life. Of course. And living a good life is cooking. I believe frito. so too. Yes, because they take care of you. Your mom takes care of you. She loves you. She needs to. Women are the best. Thank you. <laughs> and then you have a hamper full of sunlight products right. from Unilever Garden Limited right here. Thank you very much. Thank you. So when I say sunlight, you say in just one wipe. Sunlight. In just one wipe. Thank you. <laughs> I love how you did it. <laughs> and you know, you have hey, utensils. What are you going to do? Okay, anyway. No, no, no. Oh, it's not my business. <laughs> so, yeah, you'd be surprised. That too is from Wilma. <laughs> you see that box there? Mm -hmm. It's a full box of mackerel fish from La Bianca Company Limited. I love fish. Their frozen food brand is called Nana. And you can get some all across Africa. If you're watching me right now, even if you're in Zimbabwe, we're not scared. Go look for La Bianca Company Limited. <laughs> Buy their frozen foods and come and thank me later. So you have all these going for you. And then thank Roma you. Africa is giving you transport. I don't oh. stop eating. <laughs> 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 That's just transport. Yeah, yeah. I know you won't forget. Even when you're eating, you take... <laughs> Dollars, pounds. <laughs> all in one. All in one. Okay. Thank you very much. I, it was thank great you, being here. Yeah, thank you. I'm too. enjoying the food like I didn't cook it. I'm, I'm so enjoying it. But you don't have to talk. Casa na o casa de bread no. Me juma na e drink because I had always say me guess ni enjoy na me me bread. Monkey they work, babu they chop. Anyways, okay, so this is where I'm leaving you. But then before we go, I'm entreating each and every one of you that even if you miss this episode, you're going to see it on our YouTube platform at Abin Show TV is the handle. You can follow us on. All our platforms, social media, at Abin Show TV, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. So please do that, and we will thank you later. This particular episode will be there across board. You can follow us there. Also, a big thank you to the mechanics. That's what I call them, auto mechanics. They are the ones that make me look all gorgeous. Le Chateau Boutique, inside is Legon. Tammy's Hair World, also inside is Legon. Of course, me nails for my nails also inside is Lego. So I'm the is Lego. <coughs> mm -hmm. Let me drink some tea. Boo. Let me sip some tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. I'm the is Lego girlfriend. <laughs> so my makeup is by EJ Makeup. She will join is Lego people pretty, pretty soon. So before we wrap up, Elikem, do you have anything? To tell the youth i was inspired by your story it's not every youth that would want to get up and work elikem pulled through and today he's here and i'm dining with him as he did salsa for me i want you to say a word or two to that youth over there that is almost given up because he or she thinks that nothing is going to work for them please tell us um so life in itself is hard and the, the only thing you should be afraid of is death. We're all going to die. And they say you can't get out of life alive. Aside that, there should be nothing in this world that should scare you, especially following your dreams. Whatever ideas you have, whatever thoughts you have, at least, the, the least you can do is try it out. Wow. And the only way you can see things work is if you try. Now, a lot of people are afraid of failure. But Winston Churchill said something. He said, courage is moving from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. Wow. So, failure is the only way you learn. Okay. And if you don't learn, you won't move forward. So embrace failure. Don't be afraid. 
and keep working and I'm going to curse on the show, but <laughs> put shit out. Okay. Whatever you, you're doing, whatever you, you feel is, is right, whatever creative thing you want to do, just put it out there. And you'll be surprised the feedback you get. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. God bless you. You can beat that side. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you for joining us today, giving Most us welcome. these words of motivation. I believe that by the time people or the youth especially watch this episode, they will be inspired and they will start doing something for themselves, regardless of where they find themselves. I love that quote. I'm going to put it on my social media oh. tomorrow. Thank Welcome. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to you that I'm going to tell you that I'm going you on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and our Facebook. So, we'll subscribe to YouTube. I'm going to tell you that 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 my name is Cynthia Tima Yeboa, but when you come to Ghana, you can call me Tima Kunku. So, shamu kuna ufere me Tima Kunku, mami chwa me nika kwa, na me chokia, me mao too. But since Africans are watching me, when you meet me in Zimbabwe, and you call me Tima Kunku. In Harare, Harare. In Harare, yeah. You have to say it like the Zimbabwean, Harare. Harare. Yes. Enye izu ebusia. When you meet me in Harare, they yeah. call me to my kunku a chalk and a post and I'll give you two a big show bonding Africans through, through cooking. cooking with art. We're See done. Ya. We're gone. See ya. <laughs>